Hi, I'm Chuck with IWS Sales. What a great day here in Idaho, and a, it's gonna be a great day to share with you this brand new, beautiful Newmar Superstar. But before I get into that, I wanted to take just a moment because it's been such an awkward, really year and a half, dang near feels like two years. It's been quite a while since we've done a video and I, I feel really disconnected right now. So I really wanted to start out by just saying thanks to everybody that subscribed to our channel, the comments, and really what's been the most rewarding to me, my family, and my staff is some of the people that have commented like a year or two years ago that said they were gonna buy their next motorhome from us. Some of you have actually showed up and we got to meet you. Um, I, just a few weeks ago, I spent a Sunday with a, a couple that uh, came in from out of state. It's just really been rewarding for us. And I really want to let you know, I think a lot of businesses really forget to be humble and, and have some humility. I think they forget who puts them in business. And it's definitely you, the customers. But you also help drive us and make us want to get better. And that's really what's led to this coach behind us. Quite a few of our customers are looking for just a little bit more in luxury and then we were able to offer with the Renegade line. I, I still believe with all my heart, Renegade's just a top premier motorhome, but we had been looking for the last two to three years to find a, another coach line that would really help complement that. And it really, we really weren't finding much out there, but as we started to uncover and do some more of our research, one name kept coming to the top and that's Newmar. We found that Newmar probably has one of, the, well, not probably, has about the highest rating of customer satisfaction of any coach builder out there. When they started building the Super C coaches, our eyes really turned to them because we really feel that that organization is gonna just do epic changes into this industry. They're really gonna bring a lot of the luxury into it. And it was interesting, you know, uh, throughout this journey, they said they were kind of doing the same research on us. And the next thing I know, we met, talked to the leadership, really studied each other's culture. It was interesting to me with Newmar, they, they weren't really interested in how many we were gonna sell. They were really more interested in seeing our shop and how were we gonna take care of the customers. They looked at our reviews and really in the end, we just kind of came together like a glove. and. This is just gonna be an amazing opportunity for us. It's gonna be wonderful for our customers and hopefully wonderful for Newmar. So with all of that out of the way, here's this 2021, I'm gonna step out of the way, this 2021 Newmar Superstar. I just wanna give you a moment just to take this beautiful coach in. Look at the paint, uh, look at how they've done a great job transitioning from the um, the cap on the front up to the sides. You don't see the air conditioners. This is all luxury coach styling brought to a Super C line. Another thing that I wanted to point out is I did not grow excessive amounts of chest hair. This is actually a, a, a windsock because it is kind of windy out here. So I think because of the sun, I wanna start at the back of the coach and we're gonna talk about a little bit of it and I think we'll start back here. Okay, here we are at the back of the coach and I'm gonna go ahead and open up this compartment. Uh, one of the first things that you may notice is how tall this door is and how tall the compartment is. I'm six foot just to kind of give you some reference. But even though we're selling the Newmar, we still gotta put that IWS signature uh, package on. And where we started with that here on the back is with this 30 amp plug. So you have additional uh, power here at the back of the coach. There's also a device here um, that I'll talk more about on the slides as we get through the video. As we go into this second compartment, it's just another large storage compartment and these two actually connect. So if you wanted to put something tall in here, say a short totem pole or something, you got room for it. Okay, now here we are at the axles, the rear axle. So some of the things that separate an average coach from a luxury coach, it's really hard at first glance to, to be able to dissect all these nuances. 
The rear axle on this is rated at 24,000 pounds, where a typical coach is gonna be anywhere between 17.5, maybe 21, up to 23. Newmar puts 24,000 pound on there. Well, what does that do for you? Well, it gives you larger brakes, uh, a larger air suspension in it, more carrying capacity. It's just really about the biggest rear axle that I know of that you can put in. So no expense spared when it comes to these coaches. The front axle is also, or is larger, where most coaches in this class are 14,000 pound. This is a 16,000 pound front axle. Um, let me back up. Some of them are as low as 10,000 pound front axle. Some are 12, 13, and 14. This has 16. Add those two together, you get a 40,000 pound gross vehicle weight rating. Before I talk about this next compartment, I wanna talk a little bit about these two. Everybody inevitably wants to know what they are. This exhaust pipe is for the Oasis um, water heating system. This exhaust pipe is for the truck engine. Now, as we open up the door, we're gonna get into your, uh, the heartbeat of the outside of the coach. This is your uh, water and wastewater uh, center right here. So I'm gonna come around inside, try to do my best to just really point out some things that really identified with us that Newmar is a next level coach. And that is, here's your gray water and black water holding valve, or yeah, holding valves. Normally, you're gonna have a gate valve that you have to pull out and push in. On the Newmar, you just push a button and it electronically opens and closes. Many of the coaches that you're owning, if you've ever owned one, you're gonna have a big hole in the floor where you have to run the sewage pipe up through. On the Newmar, they've done this recess so it just sits here at an angle and then you can close the door and your, your sewage drains underneath it. This is your sewage rinse, so after you've drained your black tanks, you can hook a hose up to this and there's a little sprinkler that'll clean all the, the goo out of there. This has a whole, a whole home water uh, filter on it. This is the wrench that you would use to change out. It's very easy to do. I'm gonna go ahead and move behind the door, try to point out a few other things. This is the water pump. You also have a outside shower, which is really neat if you gotta wash out a cooler, spray off a kid, hose off a dog. You've got all of those features right here. It also has a powered hose reel, which is really nice just to be able to pull this out. But some of the neat things that they do is instead of having to run this through the floor and unscrew a lid, this just, I gotta come around on the other side. This hose just pushes into this little recess and then you can just close the door and you're there. It's just uh, very high end stuff. And then it has a powered cord reel. We also have cold water drain for winterizing and your hot water drain for winterizing. You know, some of the things I, it's really hard in a video because I really wanna share with you that maybe are first time buyers or even people that have been around for a long time, some of the things that we see, and that is luxury. So Newmar makes the King Air, and that Class A motorhome is considered one of the best in the world. It sells for around a million and a half dollars. It's interesting to note that the same craftsmen, the same people that build the King Air for a million and a half dollars, build this luxury Super C as well. The same exact line, the same exact people, the same exact quality is going into this. And uh, again, you know, people criticize me because I say awesome, amazing um, when I'm doing these videos, but when you're here, there's just really no other words to describe this coach. We're gonna go back to another compartment. This is a full hydraulic uh, wall slide. This slide here is a full slide. It operates on hydraulics. The mechanism I showed you back there is a, is a backup system. In the event this doesn't work, you can uh, put a wrench on there and you'll be able to 
uh, operate the slides without it, but there's no reason to think this will ever fail. This is, this is the same quality of pump you would see on a, on a million dollar plus class A motorhome. We're gonna go one more compartment here. This is the battery compartment. So what we've done is in our signature series, we've had Numar put eight six volt batteries in here. They also have it on a slide out tray, so it's easy to service. Again, just one more thing that Numar you know, has brought to this level of coach. It's inevitable that you're gonna be servicing your batteries. Why not make it easier? There is a lot of comment about lithium. Currently, Numar doesn't offer lithium on these. They're gonna do a little bit more studying. They're just not there yet. They're not completely comfortable with that technology. Uh, I, you can rest assured they're working on it and when they get comfortable with it, they're gonna be offering them. For now, this is the largest battery package we can offer. This is what we'd call our full electric package. Here's your Onan 8KW generator. And I always talk about this, that this is a Kubota tractor engine. People trade in motorhomes with, you know, five years old and there's 50 hours on the generator and I feel so bad for them. I'm like, get out and use this thing. This generator, you know, bring your coach in in five years and have a thousand hours on that generator. This coach right here, it's reasonable for this coach to go a half a million miles, 600,000, 700,000 miles. That is not out of line. Freightliner designed this to be used in the commercial industry. We put tow truck chassis on them. It wouldn't even be a stretch to say you could put a million miles on this coach. I really wanna encourage people to get out and use these. The reason I'm bringing that home is we had a gentleman and his wife stop by the other day and they said, Man, we, we were afraid to use our generator until we watched one of your videos. And he actually, as God is my witness, came up and shook my hand and said, thank you. You know, life is for the living. Buy this motorhome and get out and use it. Just get out there, that's all I can say. Okay, we got one more compartment door. In this compartment door, you're gonna see the cord reel. And again, here's that notch. So if I'm gonna plug in my shore power, I'm just gonna pull this cord out, push it through the notch, plug it in, close the door. It's that easy. I'm gonna go ahead and wind this up. Little things like electric wine, I don't know if I'd ever wanna own a motorhome without that after having it. Few other things, this is your 2000 watt Magnum inverter. Some of the IWS things that we do is we've got an extra 110 outlet up here because you never know when you're gonna need power over here. But we've also done is a satellite prep package. So this already has satellites on the roof, but we have them put this prep package in. I'll tell you where you may need this. A couple years ago, we were staying in Coeur d'Alene. We were inside these beautiful pine trees, but I couldn't get satellite reception. With this package, you could set your direct TV receiver on the ground and get it outside of the tree line and still be able to catch Monday night football. If you're like me, when fall comes around, I gotta watch my Oakland Raiders. There I said it, yes, I'm a Raider fan. Okay, now as we move along, um, we're gonna get up here to the front. Actually, before I do that, I wanna talk a little bit. Do you see the camera up here? I'll get up here above this window. There's a small camera on the side. I can't tell you how excited I am that Numar is bringing the 360 panoramic camera view to the RV industry. It's been well overdue. Um, those of you that have a new pickup, I have a new F250 or yeah, F250 with 360 degree camera. It's amazing. You're going to be able to set in this coach here in a little bit. We're going to show you on the screen and you're going to be able to see 360 degrees around it, which is really going to help you with parking, navigating, and it's just amazing. I keep saying amazing, but I can't help myself. Here we are up here at the cab and the chassis. So this is a Freightliner M2106. 
The 106 designation just means it's 106 inches from here to the front bumper. Some of the features about this, here's a side view camera. So when you turn on your turn signal, it'll help you see if somebody's here alongside the coach. Well, I also want to point out this exhaust pipe is from the generator. Some of the really neat higher end things that Numar has brought to the Class C market is locking fuel door, all fiberglass step package that's um, covering up the fuel tank in here. These things are really easy to get in and out of. I'm gonna open the door. You got a really nice grab handle here, a really nice grab handle here. They're real easy to go up and out of. All right, we're gonna move around to the front and talk a little bit about it. This has LED headlamps on it. It has the um, diamond shield protection on the hood to help prevent uh, paint chips. As I move over here, you'll see this camera and this is part of the 360 camera. Also comes with tow hooks. I'm gonna go ahead and, and tilt the hood up so you can see how easy the hood tilts. Just unlock this. Then we're gonna go ahead and tilt the hood. And I'm gonna go ahead and talk a little bit about this engine. This is a Cummins L9 engine. It makes 350 horsepower and 1,150 foot-pounds of torque. If you ask me, this is right powered. This coach is designed, uh, I think it's a perfect combination. Some of the things as we pan around with the video, I want you to see how easy it is to check the engine oil, ch change the fuel filter. So some of the things that maybe people don't know about us is IWS stands for Idaho Wrecker Cells. So for over 20 years, we've been in the same location building tow trucks. In fact, I owned a towing company for years. Um, we did heavy towing, air cushions, recovery. Um, that industry is very dear to me. And some of the things that I can tell you for a fact is a lot of our customers, in fact, most of our tow truck uh, customers won't tow Class A motorhomes. It's just too risky, they're too hard to get a hold of, the front axle sets way back. Uh, private conversations with tow truck owners, I've heard them say, they don't even think you can tow a Class A without damaging it. They've gotta go on specialized trailers. It's very complicated to get a Class A motorhome towed. However, Class C, almost every towing company will tow these because it's just like towing a truck. It's just like towing a bus or a school bus. All of these vocational chassis tow the same. Also, when it comes to service work, most of the Freightliner dealers are open seven days a week. Many of them offer 24 hours a day service. It's very easy to find somebody locally to do diagnostics on this engine because they just tilt the hood. They work on farm trucks every day. They work on their local school buses. They work on uh, the beer trucks, the pop trucks, the bread trucks. All of these are vocational chassis. They're all designed to be serviced and there's nothing to be afraid of. When you have a Class A motorhome with an engine stuck in the back and the driveline running sideways, most uh, mechanics, they're intimidated by that. Take my word for it. Call any diesel shop and say, what is your truck rate per hour? And what is your Class A motorhome rate? It's probably close to double because they don't want to work on Class A's. They don't want to climb down in there. It's very hard to even get information on those. I'm on a forum board called Tow 411. If you go on there right now, look at what the towers are saying. They're, they're showing Class A motorhomes and they're asking other towers, how do I tow this? But you won't see that on these because they're easy to tow. This is. I, I don't know, I, I, I could just go on and on and I apologize, but I just really wanna make sure you're very well informed as a consumer to know what you're getting into. We believe wholeheartedly, me and my family, that's why I run Class C, because I've been through all these experiences. We've been broke down on the side of the road and nobody will come help you because there isn't a big rig or a, or a specialized trailer within three to 400, or maybe that's an exaggeration, but within at least 200 miles of you. That I know for a fact, because I've experienced that up in Washington. The nearest uh, towing company we could find to tow one of our customers um, who had a Class A, a used Class A, was 200 miles away. 
So we know this for a fact. So there, I've said my piece. Let's go look at the other side of this thing. I'm gonna go turn it around so we have better sun and I'll be right back. Okay, we've turned this coach around. Now I wanna talk a little bit about the cab. So one of the things that makes this coach and this Newmar brand a little bit different than everybody is that they offer an air ride cab. You may have noticed when I parked that the cab went down and when I set the parking brake, the cab went up. Well, what happens is when the parking brake's released and you're driving down the road, there's airbags under the cab and the cab sits here and floats just like it's on air. There's also air ride seats in it. So you get a really nice ride. Most manufacturers don't do that because they connect the motor home and the cab together solid. This is just additional cost but it's again, that next level of luxury that Newmar puts into their class C's. So just a um, really great option that the Newmar engineers had to really do a lot of thinking and the designing to be able to offer it. But you know, our coaches are not destination coaches, meaning we don't sell coaches thinking our customers are gonna go to Florida and live in them for a year. We're building coaches for people that wanna get out and, and and overland and adventure and see everything life's got to see. My family and I are gonna embark this coming spring. We're gonna go to all the uh, car museums we can from here to the East Coast. Uh, we're gonna go on an adventure. That's what these are for. All right, so as we move along, we're gonna open up the first compartment. You can see there's a lot of storage. Again, you can see we like lots of 110 outlets. There's an additional one up here in case you wanna set up an uh, electric barbecuer here. We get to this compartment. Here's another large storing compartment. Again, if you use me as a reference, I'll suck my belly in. I'm six foot. So you get an idea how big these storage compartments are. I'm gonna go a little fast here. It's starting to get a little hot out here today. It's gonna be over a hundred. Here's the Oasis hydronic heating system. And really simply, I want to tell you how this works. This is a diesel fired burner as well as an electric burner. When you go to take a shower and you turn on the hot water, the burner kicks on and it superheats the hot water so you have hot water in the shower. If you're at an RV park and you're plugged into shore power, the electricity is going to take over and heat the water. Another neat feature about this is that there's zones when inside the motorhome and there's hot or uh, there's radiators with fans on them. So in the winter, when you're using this, this hot water, hot glycol is being circulated throughout all the heaters inside the motorhome. When one zone needs heat, the fan comes on and it heats that portion of the coach. This is typically about a $10,000 to $15,000 upgrade. Um, over propane. Um, I think it's just really one of the best design products on the market. Okay, here we are into another compartment and inside of here is your outside TV. I really like that Newmar took it out of the sidewall and moved it down here. And part of the reason they took it out of the sidewall is to give you more interior space inside the coach. And let's face it, when you're sitting down on lawn chairs, this is where you want it. Some of the things though that I really want you to notice, this is a Samsung TV, Bose sound system. Again, there's another 110 outlet with USB chargers. So when you're hanging out with your friends, you can stay connected to that cell phone because that's very important to us these days. Okay, we're gonna keep moving back. Again, notice the flush mounted wall slide. It doesn't stick out. We also have our outside scene light on this side. So um, not only that, but when the awning comes out, it has LED lights on it. We also have lights up here so we can really illuminate the area. Okay, now we're gonna 
come back to this compartment and open it up. And this is really something we've been dreaming of being able to offer our customers. And that is this slide out uh, storage tray. So we're gonna go ahead and pull this all the way out. Here's a room to put your medium sized totem poles in. Um, it's just gonna be, uh, we're just so excited. That's all I can say about having this. Again, more 110 outlets. There's a theme with IWS. We really wanna offer convenience to our customers. Now we're gonna open up the, the last compartment here. You can see there's a long pass through underneath it. Um, hopefully we can get that on the video, but you could put snow skis under there or your large totem pole would go right back here. Um, now we're gonna go ahead and move around to the back. Here you can see the 20,000 pound rated hitch, stainless steel accent panels. Again, they've stayed with a very common, easy to find replacement light. This is uh, more of that backup camera or 360 view. You also have some lights here to help you with hooking up your trailer. You also have a higher camera up there to aid with the 360 panoramic view package. Well, that about sums up everything on the back, or is it? I've been uh, excited waiting to show you this. So you open this up, you reach in here and grab this lever, and look at that. This is groundbreaking industry pace setting technology that Newmar is bringing to the Class C industry. Full rear storage compartment. What a great place to store your fishing poles. There's a spot here that slides all the way in to put your tables in there. You can keep your oils, everything you want back here. You know, I just, I keep saying excitement, but I am truly excited to bring this to our customers and to help to introduce this into the marketplace. This is absolutely game-changing stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and close this up. Now that I've showed you the outside, I'm gonna take you inside and let you see what you think. All right, we're about to start the journey in, but I realized something, and that is that I forgot to show you um, the awnings coming out. So I've got Ben inside. If he wants to go ahead and push the button, we're gonna bring both of these out. And there's two different awnings. And then you'll notice they both have LED light strips underneath them. So we're gonna go ahead and just run these out so you can see what it looks like. I also wanna point out that these awnings can be used with the slide out out. They're designed to come out in two stages. They come out flat and then they drop down, which really helps with the sun. We're gonna go ahead and put the awnings away so that with the sun, I can show you a few more features before we go inside. But one of the things you may hear the generator running in the background. We really wanted to uh, make sure you were an informed purchaser. So we're running the generator. We're gonna run the air conditioners inside. So you really can see how this, uh, get a full sense of it. I also wanna thank the customers that have purchased this coach and thank them uh, I don't want to mention their name on the internet, but I really want to thank you, you guys, for letting us uh, use your coach to make this video. All right, as we walk up to the coach, I want you to notice how smooth it is and flush here at the cab entry. I'm going to go ahead and open the door, and you can see the steps come out. Numar also has sensors in the steps, so if there's a curb up here, they're not going to come out all the way. But They've done a great job of presenting the uh, really low step height. Uh, if you have bad knees or something, it's gonna be really easy to get into the coach. It has two hydraulic cylinders in here, so this is very rugged built. But again, it's just one more level of luxury that Numar is bringing to the Class C luxury industry. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up, and we're gonna go ahead and go inside the coach, and I'm gonna start and give you a tour inside. We're gonna start out by doing a walk around with the slides in, so let's go. Okay, here we are inside. So I wanted to take just a moment and let you see what it looks like with the slides in. As you can see, there's plenty of room to get in through the kitchen. 
I have to turn sideways to get in here into the bedroom. But once I'm in here, there's um, access for the bed. I'm gonna go ahead and come back through. So now that we've shown you that, I wanna go up here and take you a minute and uh, show you a little bit about the control panels. We're not gonna spend a whole lot of time on this because we've got a lot of other stuff to cover. Why don't we give you a brief overview? This controls, well, why don't we start with the steps so I don't step in the hole. The very um, first thing that I wanna do is go ahead and push this button. And we're, we're gonna close the step well. This works great if you have kids or dogs, um, or well, even if you wanna stand right here. So now we're gonna talk about the controls. So here's the, this controls the WineGuard satellite. And really, there isn't much you're ever gonna need to do other than turn it on and off. This is the Magnum inverter, um, and this controls the generator, um, voltage controls and all your incoming shore power. There's also this um, control system here. We have this ready for a solar powered prep station. Here's your Oasis hot water heater. Um, this controls whether you're on the diesel burner or electric burner on the Oasis heater. This is a slide out, which we're gonna use in a minute. Here's the jacks. We're gonna go ahead and push that and begin auto leveling the coach. Okay, this touch screen right here, so we can push this button and here we can monitor. You can see our fresh water tanks are at 90%. The gray and black are both at zero. Tells you our whole house battery voltage as well as our chassis voltage. We can also come back to HVAC and this is showing us the temperature. So currently it's 75 degrees inside we have the air conditioners running and set to 68. That's in the uh, living room. Now we're gonna touch the bedroom and there's the bedroom controls. Here's the battery disconnect in case you wanna shut the batteries off. This is for the security lights outside. Here's your, this locks the exterior steps out. We can turn the block heater on and what that does is in the winter, you can actually run the Oasis heater and use it to circulate water and warm the engine block. You can also reverse it, and as you're driving down the road, the engine block will actually heat the coach up. This locks the door, push this button, and it automatically locks the entry door. This locks all your compartments underneath. This controls the step cover, and this is the uh, in the event you ever need to reset your hydraulic jacks, that's done here. Now, during this whole time that we were talking, uh, the jacks auto leveled themselves. So everything is good to go. And again, I wanna remind you that, um, I'm actually gonna leave this open, that the air conditioners are running. So we're gonna go ahead and start by running this wall slide out. So I'm just gonna hold this button and here goes the slide. Okay, next, let me go ahead and run the bedroom slide out. All right, now it's time to start the official tour. And you know, as you, come inside of this coach, one of the first things that really catches your eye is this beautiful polished uh, tiled floor in a wood grain finish. With the Newmar, you can get that in either a polished finish or a, a honed finish. And some of the flooring that we're bringing, that we're putting in these coaches um, comes from the, even the next level Newmars, we're able to bring those floorings and put them into this coach. You can also see some of the great things. Look at the beautiful um, skylight, I guess, or sky window, if you want to call it, 
it just gives you a wonderful view of the outdoors if you don't want it you can go ahead and, and close the sunshade so i'll go ahead and close it for you Okay, now I just want to give you a little bit of an overview of what the cab looks like on this M2106. You can see the really large uh, stereo on it. It's all touch string. We'll go through that here a little bit later. JBL sound system, uh, really nice uh, air ride seats in it. Okay, we're going to kind of do a little bit of a tour around the rest of the coach. You can see there's all kinds of storage compartments up here in the front. But the one I really want to draw your attention to is this one right here. And if you can zoom right in there. So your owner support, this motor coach has been assigned Bruce Bordner. You have his personal email as well as his phone number that you can call. And we're also going to introduce you over the next coming weeks to Noogle where you can, it's kind of a blend between Numar and Google where uh, all your maintenance and stuff can be accessed on uh, an iPad or through the cloud system. We're gonna be sharing more with you as, as we learn more about that. As we move through the rest of the coach, you'll notice there's ducting in the floor. That's where the aqua hot heat for this zone is coming in. The dinette, this folds down and makes into a bed. You see you've got a seat belt there if you're gonna carry a passenger. There's also storage up here. This is where your DVD player is. You got a Bose sound bar, just more storage. Uh, it's also got this nice little fold out granite extension on the countertop that you can lock out. This is really nice when you get in here into the sink. I'm gonna go ahead and take these and set these aside. but you can see this is a full residential style, uh, style uh, spray bar on here. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and pull the covers off the true induction cooktop. One of the things that I wanna point out is that underneath these, Numar has built-in cutting boards. So you can turn that over and use it as a cutting board. It's just a really nice touch. Here's your true induction cooktop. We've been a fan of these on both the, or on our Renegade line as well. We really like these because um, they don't get hot unless they're magnetic, um, metallic type surface is on here. Then a magnet engages and then it begins to heating. So we really like these cooktops. Whirlpool microwave with all digital uh, readouts on it. As you can see, it's very spacious inside. I'm going to back up here a little bit and show you you've got a little spot to keep your uh, wash rags and stuff trash can in here lots of storage there sliding out all of the uh, cabinet drawers soft close feature on them there's lots of storage in here you can have uh, extra silverware if you want you can also move that over here but you can keep frying pans in here some more drawers, lots and lots of storage. I'm gonna keep moving back and show you the, uh, unlock the refrigerator. Hopefully you can pan in and get a little bit of a shot here and show the little bit of the refrigerator, the freezer down there with the built-in ice maker. You also have water fill feature here in the door. Gonna go ahead and open up the pantry. These are kind of neat because in order to get them to slide out, you have to first push them in. Then you have full out drawer, slide out drawers, and then you just push them in to lock them so they won't come out. Push it, and then they slide out. Uh, lots and lots of, of great features in there. Now we're gonna go ahead and move into the bedroom. Okay, now that we've, we're in here in the bedroom, I wanna point out the real easy to use lighting so they have just these touch features right here so that's going to turn the ceiling off and on um, different lights the dressers the accent high low feature so you can push this button and it'll dim the lights push it and they come back up just kind of show you some of the storage compartments you have here more slide out drawers here 
you can see there's six of them down here. This is where the DVD player is. You can also uh, put satellite receivers in and have it back there. Over here is the stacked washer and dryer. I'm gonna just go ahead and slide this open and then get out of the way. You can see there's a large closet. And if you look in the back in the corner, there's also a built-in safe, which is a feature a lot of people really like. You also see all the storage underneath it. Another feature that I really like is the USB port and the 110 outlet. If any of you use a CPAP machine, it would be nice. It, you'll appreciate having that there. Here's another storage thing that I like. I'm gonna go ahead and fold the bed up. You see there's lots of storage underneath the bed. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and close the door. So you, to lock this door, there's no straps or anything. You just push the button down. And then you have a bifold door. Okay, now we're gonna move back into the uh, toilet when this door is pretty nifty on how that works it's a space saver door and I'm gonna go ahead and step out of the way and we're just gonna video inside the shower you can kind of see everything that's going on in there Uh, one more thing that I forgot to talk to you about may not be the last thing before this video is over is the swiveling reclining uh, chairs we have up here. Go ahead and recline this so you can get an idea. I can kick back here. I've got the TV straight across. Um, you also have these handy little drink holders. You can set your beer or your grape juice. Depends on what you're into. We also have another a slide out drawer and keep your magazines or whatever you want in there. All right, we have a few more things we want to go through before this video is over, but I want to take a moment and just draw your attention to the lighting up on the ceiling. So the whole time this video has been running or going that we're making it, we've been running the generator as well as the air conditioners. These Numar Superstars have soft start air conditioning, so they don't come on and just scream inside of there. These things are running on high right now. We really wanted you to understand um, what living in a luxury coach was like. Even if you can turn around and just look at the black padding up around the full walkthrough cab. Again, I'm six foot tall. I'm gonna go ahead and a little bit taller with my hat on, but you can see, look at the headroom that I have as I walk in here to get down inside the coach. It's very easy to climb out and get back in. I don't have to worry about hitting my head on anything. Um, just, just a beautiful coach. Now I think what I'd like to do is go ahead and let's, we're gonna retract the jacks, bring the slides in, fire up the engine and talk just a little bit more about up inside the cab. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of a wrap up here inside the driver's cockpit and tell you just a little bit about what's going on up here. So the first thing is, is you have um, air seats, so you can raise and lower the seats. I'm gonna go ahead and raise it up. 
So you have a lot of adjustments. You have a foot pedal here that you can control the tilt, telescope of the steering column. You also, um, on this coach, it, it also has heated seats. And I don't know if you can see, I'll show you here on the passenger side. So this is your seat up and down control. This is a shock absorber to control the rate at which the shock, the seat moves. This is your seat heater button. Then you have three different lumbar supports and mid back air supports on it. Okay, so I'm gonna start you up here a little bit. A 12 volt power outlet. Um, this is a plug-in for the stereo, air dump. This is the sunshade. This is for the panoramic camera. This is the engine brake, so it has high and low setting. I also just want to add that this is a true engine brake. It's not just an exhaust brake. So you're going to get um, a lot more braking horsepower out of the engine. This is a light test button, which is pretty cool. If you push this button, you can walk outside and it's going to cycle through all of the lights so you can make sure they're all working. Um, then we're down here. This is your docking lights. Those are the lights over on the side, your cab ceiling lights generator start this is a house battery boost so let's just say your house batteries goes dead and your generator won't start you can start the motor home push this button and it'll give you a battery boost this is the exhaust regeneration this is a, a auto fill override for the um, suspension to, to lower the suspension this is your windows up and down, your door locks, your mirror heat, six speed automatic transmission, which drives just like a car. You just push the drive switch in and out. Over here you have your uh, cruise control, turn signals and all that. You have powered mirrors. They're very easy to see. One of the things that I like about a class C is the mirror position. If you notice how I'm sitting, this is about the same position that I'm sitting in my F-250 pickup. The mirrors are in almost the same location, plenty of good hood access um, to look out visibility. To me, I'd rather drive this in a pickup because it's the same as a pickup, except I'm a little bit higher. People that drive class A's, they really complain. The mirrors are way out front. A lot of the passengers always feel like they're falling off of the road. In a class A, the tires, um, you're wider than the tires, so you always feel like you're falling off the road. On this one, we're as nar or narrower our seating position than the tires, so you don't get that sensation. Kind of running out of energy. This has been a long video, so I apologize if it sounds like I'm slowing down. All right, so I want to move on up here to the upgraded sound system. We got a little journey on here, even though it says the Steve Miller Band. Um, this is an upgraded sound system. But what I really wanted to show you is some of the neat features on it. So here's the camera. And here's the 360 view. Um, this is looking out the top left, but here's the 360 view. I'm gonna go ahead and ask Ben who's in here with me if he'd go outside and do a walk around the coach so you can see him. There you can see he's going down the step. And you can see he's walking around the entire motorhome. And there he is at the back. So as you can see, this is a huge leap in technology. We can shut the 360 view off. Oops, just turned it back on. I'm gonna turn the 360 view off. And you can go to rear view where you're just looking out the back and that's up high. If you wanna look out the rear low for your trailer hitch, you can push that view. This is out the left side of the coach. This is the view you would see if you had your turn signals on. You can also look out the right side. You also have navigation, and we're not going to go through all of that, but you get the whole idea of it. Well, that brings us to the end of this video, and really my hopes are is that some of you 
that are seeing these new Mars for the first time can really understand uh, what we what they're about. As more units come in, we're going to be showing you more and more videos. I really want to do a shout out to the Newmar family and really thank you for inviting us in. And we also want to welcome you to the IWS family, as well as all the customers that are going to be purchasing Newmars. Welcome both to Newmar and the IWS family. It means a lot that you choose to do business with us. We take a lot of pride in it. We're not going to let you down. That's something that you can really count on. And uh, hope to see you out on the road.